Hi, I'm um, Jared Butler. Just um, really excited to be here. Um, my journey is come to Utah, so it's a great chapter in my life, and I just um, can't wait to get to know you guys. I feel like I'm going to be talking to you all a lot, and um, yeah, just excited to be here. Yeah, um, it's really a lot to explain. Um, I mean, obviously, I played at Baylor University. The Jazz has some great ties with Baylor, and um, I knew some guys in the front office just from you know knowing knowing guys. But um, I think through the draft process, I, I knew they had some interest, but they were at thirty, and um, they kind of didn't think that I was going to get to thirty. But um, you know, I'm I'm here now, so um, that's that's just about it. And on draft night, it was a it was a rough night for me, um, but I think then when the draft, I mean, when the when the Jazz called me, it was just extremely, you know, thankful and you know, I, this is where I'm supposed to be, and I'm just, you know, honored for sure. Yeah, um, um, I have a faith, obviously, and um, sometimes when you have faith, you don't know all the answers, you don't know all the um, ins and outs and how things are going to work, um, but for me, I just tried my hardest to have faith in, um that the Lord was going to direct me where I needed to go, and um, you guys, my parents, it was, it was really hard, really tough, because like you said, it was something out of my control, and you know, I can't change, you know, who I am physically, you know, that's kind of hard. But um, like I said, at the end of the day, I think this is where I'm supposed to be. And I'm just so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mike Walton, Mike Walton, you Nice. Um, can you take us through, I, I think a lot of people have never heard of the, the Chick-fil-A situation before. Can you kind of take us through the process of like getting medically cleared by the NBA? Yeah, it's yeah. I won't go into specifics about the condition or um, whatever. Right, yeah. 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 So it's pretty not um, pretty simple. Um, they you know whatever the field of interest is, um, they get three of the um, three doctors, um, one from the NBA, one from the NBA Players Association, and then those two doctors collaborate on getting a third doctor to to make it a, a three person panel and. Um, I got a chance to speak before the panel and um, me and my agent and some other representatives that I wanted um, to kind of like state my case and give my last remarks about, you know, this is why you should let me, whatever. And um, so, yeah, and they and they, they um, deliberated and talked through it and they ultimately came to the decision. Um, Ryan Miller from Sports Center. Um, what do you like about your fit on the Jazz? Yeah, I like how they shoot a lot of threes. Um, obviously, at Baylor, we shot a lot of threes, too. Catch and shoot, off the dribble, pick and roll. Um, so, yeah, I'm extremely excited about that, and I feel like the culture here is also something that I can um, really adjust to. And um, just really great people, honestly, and that's what I'm about. And um, just trying to be a fit and, you know, build up a culture that's, you know, inspiration to other people. Yeah, Coach Quinn was the first person to call me actually um, on draft night, and um, he was pretty emotional. Understood my story and um, relayed to me that he he was just like extremely happy that you know I got to forty, and um, you could just tell that he drafted me as a person and wanted me for you know who I am as a person and, and not just you know basketball skills. Um, so that was really comforting for me and um, Jake and. Um, Mr. Dennis Lindsay is, uh, is also some people that I know very, very, very well, and they've um, been extremely part of my life. So yeah.
Yeah, it's kind of still in into um, debate, but I'm I'm healthy enough to play. But yeah. It's like a gold mine for me just because, you know, the level of where they're at in their career and um, what they're doing is something that I want to do. So, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I have no problem being like, Mike, like, w w how do I get there? How do I be this guy? How do I be like you type thing? And um, so I'm, it's like a gold mine for me. And um, I'm humble enough to, to, to realize my role. And, um, but I think at the same time I can make huge contributions to winning, and, um, and that's what I'm all about. Yeah, pretty cool guy. Um, <laughs> pretty, yeah, yeah. Um, I love going to eat with people, like literally just going to eat and having genuine conversations. Um, I like going to the lake sometimes, being on the boat. That's kind of nice. Um, but, yeah, just I like to smile, laugh. Um, pretty genuine and personable person. Uh, can talk to anybody. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, it's been huge my whole life. Um, I can remember being fourth grade playing on and off the ball. And, um, you know, I didn't know at the time, but it was preparing me for the league and how it is right now with guys who, you know, not just because you bring the ball to the court doesn't mean you're not coming off a ball screen, um, things like that. So I, I, I've been prepared for it my whole life. And um, it's definitely something that I think is going to be come to my advantage and allow me to get on the court quicker because I'm not um, confined to one position. Why? Yeah, for sure. Um, I just think um, from the council of the people around me, um, they said I could be, you know, a first round pick. That didn't happen, but but also our team was gonna be really good. Um, you know, we had a chance to win a national championship. We had a chance to just win the Big Twelve. So that was that was other reasons too. When did I learn? Um, oh, a lot of stuff, especially about just me as a person handling adversity, how to win. Um, at the highest level, um, playing with guys who are also at a, at a high level and, you know, NBA players as well. Um, and then also building a culture and, like, having it as your own. You know what I mean? It's, it's a hard thing to do, um, especially as, like, college kids and, you know, you're trying to, you know, get the nation to be on notice of what you're doing. And, you know, that's something that we did. You said look straight, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah, so if you're in the Zoom room, please raise your hand if you have a question for Jared. We'll start with uh, Dana Green, ABC Sports. Okay, Jared. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. We're good. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, I just want to know what that experience of winning a national championship was like for you and, and how much, uh, I mean, just playing in such, a, in, in such a big time environment like the Final Four, how did that prepare you for your uh, first year in the NBA? Yeah, it's extreme um stage i mean like it's it's a kid's dream anybody that plays college they want to win a national championship and um for me it was just like the relationships i built with the team um it's like it's going to last a life long a lifetime and um you know to cap it off with that moment and you know working so hard and not knowing whether or not you're going to win it's it's just it's just something so fulfilling um but uh, I think it's more so the, the relationships I've built and not so much the, the championship. Because at the end of the day, it's just a game. But, you know, the people and the people we inspired was, like, really cool. Great. Next, we'll go to Niall Campbell, UtahJazz.com. Hi, Jared. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, so as a rookie, what impact do you want to have both on the court and off the court? Um, I think on the court, I don't want to be a liability. I don't want to – I don't want you to know that I'm a rookie – um, I want you to think that as if I've been playing in the league for, you know, six or seven years. Um, and also just 
not I don't stick out. So that's kind of the same thing. But like you don't say like, oh, this guy like is this guy a rookie? That's that's kind of like my thing on the court. And I think off the court, um, um, adding to the culture and not um, making a negative impact, being a positive impact to the culture of the team and um, what the organization is about and um, and being about the right things. That's that's kind of what I'm trying to do on and off the court. Yeah, so we played an NCAA tournament game here in Salt Lake, and um, we actually got a chance to practice in the facility, so that was pretty cool. Um, but other than that, that was my only experience beforehand. But today, you know, the mountains are cool. Um, the scenery, I don't think it, it can ever get old. And um, the weather's nice. I'm from New Orleans, so it's hot, and you're sweating as soon as you get outside. But here, it's just a nice little breeze, so that's about it.